the setup right there. I had another trap right down here. So I'm pretty curious to pick and see what happens here for my footage. I've been having trouble uh, not having the camera trigger in time to see the animal initially come into view. So um, yeah, really hoping to uh, get some good results off of this uh, off of this latest catch right here. We'll see. What direction? Cable is on that side, which means that the trap was positioned like this. That's my, uh, here's my cable right here. So he did come in, he's coming this way. So I'll be kind of curious to see. He must have made his way around there. And if he was here too early and that trap was not exposed yet in the water dropping, that could be a reason why he swam across. But pretty fair to check the camera. Hopefully everything is good. And uh... hi there, YouTubers. How are you guys doing today? I um, did a little experiment this year and set up my trail camera to take a video, some footage of beavers interacting uh, with my sets. Yeah, so. as you can see here on this trap that's closest to the camera, you see how I've left that far side open for them to travel. Um, what I did this year is I found more often than not, if your trap placement is in the right spot, Generally speaking, you don't have to take and make a complete fence and block off an entire creek. This here is at a small dam where they're blocking the culvert in the road. And um, uh, yeah, I ended up having to move this back in a little bit. That first trap there was in a decent spot, uh, but it ended up getting triggered for muskrats. See him trying to swim through those sticks there. So it's pr it's very close to the right spot, but at any rate. Uh, um, but yeah, uh, in, in an effort to kind of understand exactly what is happening with uh, some of these sets, uh, some curiosities that I had obviously are um, traps that get triggered. And uh, I kind of went through my footage. I ended up with, uh, I have some really cool footage here in this video, this short video, but um, I ended up losing, uh, I had a fiasco of, uh, of, um, that, uh, of errors that happened with my camera. I lost some footage on my computer, lost a memory card, so I lost some really good stuff, but I do have some, some cool interaction here with the beavers with the traps. So. Let's see if it gets caught. The problem that I had though is for some reason, this camera, it's a Desoon brand. I really like the camera. Um, but for some reason, um, I would say 50% or more of the catches that I video, um, the camera would trigger right on that initial smash impact of the trap. Excuse me, which at the end of the day, whatever, it's, you know, it's not a big deal. Um, the real purpose of that trail camera was wasn't so much to um, video impacts, but it was to take and see what is actually happening around the sets, and, uh, and I accomplished that. So um, the one cool thing that I did realize is that 90% uh, of the catches that I videoed, the beavers, they would make it for um, one minute or less. So even with these traps half submerged in water and the friction that they have to overcome to close and impact the beaver, now which takes some of the jam off the trap, the beavers would only last a minute, uh, even dry land catches. Um, so uh, in, in my trapping world, that's always kind of a target if I can take and see animals dispatched in that short of a time frame. 
that's obviously ideal. Now here's another set. I had a small breach in the dam, and the trap that could be the caught in was a newer set. You can see on the far side of the dam, there's still some sticks standing there. And we went straight to the rear. This set here was a really interesting set, and in, uh, in some interaction I found with this beaver. Um, one of the things that I had done wrong is I had I was wearing leather gloves that were wet from a set that I just came from, and I had handled the beaver. And you can see every one of these sticks that I've handled has got scent on them, um, including the trap. So everywhere my hand touched had scent on it, and so this beaver was obviously very curious. Now, just beyond the trap there, um, about 10 feet, 3 meters. Uh, there's lure there, so that's why this beaver is there. And so here you can see, um, obviously, if you want to wonder why you're having front foot catches on beavers on sets like this, or just traps that are snapped from their tails like that, that answered quite a few questions for me when I looked at this video. Anyway, so now the beaver's on the opposite side, and the creek has basically run out. And now he comes back to the trap, and uh, so he keeps on putting his head under water. He'll get caught now. <coughs> Excuse me, with his head under water, he manages to trigger the trap. Um, but yeah, just him climbing over that trap and uh, behaving in the manner in which he did, I was like, wow. And again, this these beavers like this, when they get caught like this, you know, they don't take a full breath and manage to hang out for 15 minutes. Uh, as the story goes about how long they can hold their breath when they get hit with a trap, they're in complete instant panic mode. They don't discern what it is that is happening. And uh, so they've got panic set in. They're in taking in a lot of water. And uh, also they're doing a tremendous amount of damage to their back. So he, the camera timed out, <coughs> and uh, he never made it past a minute. And then with the with the beaver laying, I just threw this footage in here. It's pretty interesting. There's a mother duck and her little ducklings. I created a little bit of a blockage there, and so some of them are climbing over the the beaver in the trap, and uh, some of the stragglers on the runt of the litter they managed to climb through the through the marsh grasses on the right hand side there you can see a few of them come around kind of interesting but yeah that was really really uh really enlightening to take and see that interaction here's uh back to that same set again it was just a pair of beavers that moved in and they were blocking this off and again here you see the beaver, <coughs> he, uh, they hadn't set off the trap, so he wasn't educated exactly on that the trap was going to hurt him. But when the other beaver got caught, or is this even before any beaver got caught? I'm not even sure. Um, but, uh, But yeah, they're kind of working around the trap there, which which I was kind of okay with. I uh, I'm making a loop in this area where these traps are, and I've got you know ten traps inside of about ten miles or sixteen kilometers of each other. Um, so uh, always trying to just take and make sure that I go about my business in a way that's. gonna you know make the most sense and uh, you know dealing with humane catches and, and learning about uh, all this interaction but uh, I did also one thing that I, I really uh, noticed is as much as you try to take and catch beavers coming into your set they will end up behind your traps like this it's it doesn't it doesn't matter what kind of a cage you build for them if you're using natural materials, <coughs> they will, excuse me, they will end up behind your traps. So, which, at the end of the day, 
coming or going, I'm not sure if it really matters to us. Um, I'm not sure how long this footage is going to go on here, but yeah, just, um, so I'm not sure exactly what this beaver is all smelling. It's, it could be stuff that came off of my boots. They obviously have a very, very keen sense of smell. One of these beavers leaves here, and on the right hand side of the trap, <coughs> excuse me, is where the cable goes down underneath the stabilizer of the trap, and then it comes back this way to an anchor point, and he gets kind of tangled up when he tries to submerge and leave around that side of the trap. Um, not sure if that footage is in. But again, you can see how that tail waves out in front of that trap. Like, obviously, even these new style magnum traps like they're not going to take and hold the beaver tail so for sure when we take and show up and we've got empty traps um that would be um that would easily be a scenario of a beaver um triggering a trap not getting caught and uh and showing up there oh yeah this is actually initial footage there you see a second beaver <coughs> so this is before the footage earlier in the video which whatever it is what it is but again it's just some interaction it's amazing how much I think if I would have had that trigger I don't know why I had that trigger facing down from the top I think if my trigger dog assembly see there if I would have had it from the bottom like these beavers would have gotten caught earlier I really don't know why it was that I did that and it was a mistake and you can clearly see on this set I would have been catching these beavers earlier than I did um, so again because that beaver really wanted to uh, here, he, here he just got caught and again I don't know why it is but that put the, the camera it, uh, it triggered just after the initial impact when it got caught so This is, uh, this is again, it's, uh, um, you know, putting up this footage um, in an effort to, uh, to have an understanding as to, uh, you know, the length of time that it takes from an animal being captured to, um, it being deceased is is interesting in that uh, yeah you don't want that time frame to be any longer than it needs to. Ah, oh, here's this last video, man. I really I had so much cool footage there, and I ended up with some really good catches. And like I said earlier in the video, there I, I ended up losing footage and losing cards and uh, just a comedy of errors there. <laughs> <laughs> which uh, it is what it is and then this the format of this camera here that I used which gave me really good quality this is me videoing it playing on my computer I could not figure out how to take and change the format but at any rate this beaver gets caught it's a perfect catch um, dry land catch so he, he received full impact of this trap um, this was, if I remember correctly, it was a 35 to 40 pound beaver. So it was an adult beaver, not the biggest, but um, made it one minute. Just turns over sideways. That's exactly how I found him. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, I'll be posting uh, one more beaver trapping video. And then I'm on to uh, my winter catches. So good luck and have fun, guys.